What's up, everybody? We're back with the Buy Bar Pass, and this time we are reviewing Three Chords Cask Finished Whiskey and Honey. Let's do this. <laughs> You may be wondering what we're doing. Right. This is from Three Chord. This is their new, uh, it's a limited release, and this is a cask-finished bourbon and corn whiskey finished in honey and toasted barrels. Now, this one comes in at 111.3 proof. It is a 28% of this is six-year MGP bourbon with a 21% rye recipe. 40% is five-year MGP bourbon at that 36% rye recipe. And it's 32% Kentucky eight-year corn whiskey. Now, corn whiskey has to be at least 80% corn in the mash bill and is in used barrels as opposed to uh, brand new charred oak barrels like bourbon. Mm. So that's what differentiates it between bourbon and a corn whiskey. However, I did read that they use a 99% corn, 1% malted barley mash bill. So high corn content in that corn whiskey. But what they do then is they take the components, they blend them, and they age them in toasted barrels from Independent Stave Company in Speyside Cooperage for three months. Then after those three months, they follow it up with one month in honey barrels from the Fern Valley Farms in Arkansas. So kind of a short finish in the honey, a, 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 a pretty short finish in the toasted as well, which I really like. And we're going to pour it up and we're going to See what we think about it. Now, we also did this as a 15 for our podcast listener. So if you're not a podcast listener and you're interested in doing that, find us on any place you get your podcasts, any app, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or also just watch the video version that we did uh, just last week as well. So check that out right here on our YouTube channel. But yeah, baby, condensing that for you, telling you what we think. We're going to drink it. We're going to nose it. We're going to get into it. We're going to get to know it. The nose on a fresh crack is is slightly probably more astringent than if it's sitting open for a little while. Like, you can just tell it's going to develop very nicely with a little bit of air to it. Yeah. It's I, just got this, it's got this barely, barely a tinge of, of sharpness. I get a lot of... <laughs> What? Of alcohol? It's got barely a tinge of alcohol in it. Uh, I get a lot more of the toasted aroma on the nose than the honey. The honey, a little bit of brightness peeks through, but it's mostly that toasted note that I get, which is different than many of the honey finished whiskeys that we've had previously, whether it be um, just uh, one-off releases or the Belmead honey, which is probably the famous, most famous of them all. But this one, for sure, the toasted makes it unique and get a little bit of honey, but mostly toasted on the nose for me. I agree. 100%. You nailed that. I agree. On the nose, you kind of get this little brightness of honey there at the tail end. Yeah. All right, let's taste it. Definitely MGP influence there. Heavy, heavy MGP influence. Perfect honey. Perfect. A month in honey barrels. That was absolutely perfect, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, the honey, it, it helps it linger. It develops the finish and the palate as well. I, you can hear me. I'm salivating. but We're spitting everywhere, too. It, it's not syrupy. It's not like some of the crazy finishes that are, are definitely longer than a month, I feel like, where it's just it, the whiskey almost feels like it's dripping with honey. Like, it's a right. gooey honey right. whiskey. Right. This one is is a a kiss of honey. It's an essence of honey. Uh, it, it's not overpowered by the honey. That toasted note really does shine through in it. And I think because it's forty percent high rye, I get a lot of spice mixed in as well with the toast with the honey. It's just kind of a just a, a all around experience. You're getting spicy, sweet. That the savoriness from the toasted. Like there's a lot going on, but none of it's like 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 hurting your head, like trying to figure out what's going on. Roll with me here for just a second. I'll Will. do it. I'll roll with you. I'm talking about take a gram. Okay. Uh, a gram cracker. <laughs> a, gram not crack. a gram of other things. <laughs> a gram cracker. I'm not going to roll with you anymore, Green. You, <laughs> you just get me in trouble. <laughs> you just drizzle some honey on it. Yeah, uh, like a honey gram. No, but like. Like, like a honey gram. <laughs> well, it's a honey honey gram. Yeah. Oh, so take a honey gram. That's too much honey. 
I think this one's just a plain I don't gram. Think it is. I don't think, when I have honey grams, there's not too much honey. Have you ever put honey on a sausage biscuit? Yeah. Oh, of course I have. I've put honey on everything. <laughs> Whiskey the poo doesn't hold back. Uh, oh, you ever put man. mustard and honey on a sausage biscuit? No. Good. That's disgusting. It is? It has to be. I'm not going to try that. Mustard and honey at the same time? No. Oh, it's a for honey mustard. Oh. Bother. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty good. How do they make honey mustard? <laughs> Is it just mustard and honey? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it's in the name. I'm going to go experiment when I get home. Well, whiskey the boo, small batch honey mustard. Well, if, With a tinge of whiskey. <laughs> if that's the yeah. case, why does everybody not make honey mustard the same? There's obviously There's restaurants out there. Thousands different kinds. Thousands? Of different kinds of honey mustard? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess whiskey's all different in how you make it, and they make it with the same stuff. It's out. all about proportions. Hear me out. If you have a, a light stomach, don't listen any further. Oh. What about making a cocktail with honey mustard in it? Pro or con? Good or bad? Like a honey mustard old-fashioned. I, we should make one on the show. I mean, we should try <laughs> It's going to be the worst thing we've ever done. Just honey, mustard. No, not honey and mustard. Like we're No, just, we're making our own honey mustard. No, we could do that too, but we should try like a like a reputable brand of like honey Like Jim mustard. and Nick's, they got great honey mustard. I don't think that that's what I was thinking. But No, they have great honey mustard. They have great honey butter. They have great honey mustard. Have you ever had their chicken tenders? With no, the honey because mustard? I'm an adult. I don't go to a barbecue restaurant and order chicken tenders with honey mustard. Only ordered that one time time there. The other times my kids get it, and I have one. All right, folks. uh, This is about fifty nine bucks. Buy bar pass. I say buy. I think it's one of the better honey expressions I've had. It's easy to buy this. It's sixty dollars. It's better than Blanton's. You know what to do. (laughs) We don't know Jack. We'll drink it, baby.